Hey everybody, good evening. Um, to those of you that are still awake, I know I'm making this video really late, but of course I had to put my two cents in because we all know it's something very exciting happened last night, and I'm sure you hopefully got to watch it, was Trump's first State of the Union address. And it was amazing! If you didn't get to watch it, you missed out big time. This was one of the most inspiring speeches that I've ever heard. So you missed out on that, you missed out on Trump's common sense policies, and you missed out on <laughs> the Democrats, who are so butthurt, it's ridiculous, but it's also really sad. And we'll get into that later, but really, they didn't stand for veterans, and that is just appalling to me. Um, though I guess I shouldn't really be surprised, considering that they don't stand for the national anthem either, but... Uh, anyway, I just wanted to share with you my newspaper from Greensboro. Um, it says, Trump to Nation, Summon the Unity. And of course I had to buy it because I wanted to really remember it. And um, yeah, this is our local paper, so I encourage you, if you didn't buy the paper today, try, try to find a copy of it because it's something that we all want to remember. Um, I am really fired up about this. I can't tell you how excited I am to be living in America, to be a Trump supporter, and I just have this vision for America of how awesome it's going to be again. Um, Trump is doing an amazing job. Um, at leading our country, and I can't imagine everybody not being in the Trump train now. And I know that's wishful thinking. I know, I know. But I feel like Trump is going to go down as one of the best presidents in history. And by the way, for all y'all that don't agree with me, that's fine. I'm not saying that you have to. But at least if you are on the other side, at least know why you believe what you believe. It's really important. You know, that way we can all sort of debate civilly together. Um, so anyway, oh, I was asked something I wanted to say, <laughs> as I was asked today, somebody asked me, are, are, aren't politics running your life? And I said, no, politics are not running my life. Um, clearly I have a life outside of this, okay? I'm planning a wedding, all right? So I am incredibly busy. Um, but this is something that I'm passionate about. I'm more passionate about it now than ever. Um, now is the time to speak up. Now is the time to raise your voice. It's not the time to be silent. This is the time to make America great again. And if we all work together as a team, we can totally do it. So anyway, I've composed some clips um, of my favorite parts of the speeches of the speech last night, which was really hard, by the way, because it was all fantastic. Um, so hopefully, maybe I'll give you a few clips that you haven't seen all day. But let's start with the first one, which of course was part of his opening, and he talked about clear vision and a righteous mission um, for America and making America great again. Each day since, we have gone forward with a clear vision and a righteous mission to make America great again for all Americans. Making America great again for every American. What a concept. For the life of me, I don't understand why people are so offended by this entire notion. It's our country, and yes, we're open for anybody to come over that wants to do it legally. I don't understand why people are so upset that he wants to enforce the law. That's all he's doing, and everyone wants to be offended and say, oh no, he can't do that. Why are we saying it's okay for the Democrats to care more about illegal immigrants than, we, than they do American citizens? That's, that's crazy. That's not logical at all. Okay, so this next clip... I know y'all have seen, but I, of course, I had to add it in. Um, he talks about um, the low unemployment rate for African Americans, and it's fantastic. And look at the expression on their faces. Why would they not be happy about that? Why is everybody interested in pushing this anti-Trump agenda? It's crazy. African American unemployment stands at the lowest rate ever recorded. Unbelievable, right? You would think they would be standing up and clapping. But I'm telling you, that's what the entire left did while they were at the State of the Union address. They sat there, gloomy face. Surely y'all watched Nancy Pelosi's face. Oh my goodness. It's just incredible to me. And you know, Trump's up there giving this incredible speech, recognizing heroes. And you know what? That recognizing the Coast Guard, recognizing the military, recognizing a little boy putting um, American flags on soldiers' graves, that has nothing to do with politics. That has everything to do with the American spirit. And the fact that they couldn't recognize that, the fact that they were so selfish, that they couldn't even stand up for those people. Those are the people that you're still with? Those are the people that you support? 
I don't understand. Please write in the comments below and tell me why you're still on the left because I don't understand it at all. Trump, of course, went on to talk about many different things. Um, he talked about immigration, which, of course, is a hot topic. Um, he talked about the four pillars of, of immigration. Uh, about the first one was the framework, um, which he's basically, we all know about, is offering a pass to citizenship for 1.8 million immigrants. And I know that was a really hard thing for those of us on the right to swallow, but I really think it's fair. Trump is a businessman, and that's what he did. He approached this like a business deal. Clearly, both sides aren't going to get what they want. So each side has to kind of give up a little bit so we can reach this common goal. And I think that we all want this to be the goal, the achievable goal. Um, so basically, he's going to offer 1.8 1, 1 million immigrants a path to citizenship. Of course, they have to meet requirements. They have to meet education requirements, work requirements, and of course, they have to not be a danger to themselves or society. Um, they have to show good moral character. Um, so those, the, those people are already here. Those are the, the kids that the parents brought over. Um, the second is secure the borders by building the wall. And third is to end the visa lottery, which is a program that basically just randomly hands out green cards. Um, I think that's a really good idea. I think we need to be really careful about who we let into the country for security reasons. And of course, fourth is ending chain migration, um, which is also really important for national national security and the and the economy. Um, you know, he really wanted he really wants to reach out to both sides and build a bridge. And it would be stupid for the Democrats not to compromise this time. Um, he just wants to close up the deadly loopholes in immigration because there have been, you know, I think there was a report in Arizona that came out that with all the immigrants they have there, there has been a lot more, you know, high crime activity. So, um, you know, it's something that we really need to be careful about. Um, also, one of my favorite parts of the speeches, which is this next clip, and everyone's been talking about this one all day. Okay, like I said, it's all really good, so I'm sure you've seen it all, but like I said, this is my take. Um, that America, <laughs> Americans are dreamers, too. How significant is that? It was fantastic because it's true, we are. You know, we all want to be on a path to the American dream, and we all want to do it together. And we all want to do it in a rational, logical way. So you'll have to check it out. It's, it's beautiful what he said. Because Americans are dreamers, too. So Trump was saying that his biggest priority, the most important priority, is having America that's safe for the American citizens, kids to grow up in, and for all of us to be safe as a united country. It's not about leaving anybody out. I know I've heard all day, you know, Trump wants America to be great and open for business to everybody except the illegal immigrants. Again, why are we saying this is okay? This is stupid. Why can we not be logical about this? It's not about being mean. It's not about being racist. It's not about, you know, trying to, you know, to stay to ourselves. No, it's all about keeping America safe. Look how prosperous we have been in just the year that Trump's been in office. Look how the stock market has risen. Look how many more jobs have been created. Look at every good thing Trump has done and all the good fights he's fighting. He even mentioned the Obama mandate for Obamacare. You know, if you didn't have it, you had, you were fine for it. And I had it, and I, I didn't have I had it for a second, and it was too expensive, and then I've been fine for it. That was so stupid. Trump is playing hardball. Trump is not afraid to call a spade for a spade, and I think it's awesome. I think everybody needs to just get behind him and just, and no, and let me just say, no, I don't think Trump is perfect. And yes, he has made mistakes, and that's fine. No one is perfect. Okay, everybody's a sinner, right? But Trump, d honestly, I believe that he has the best interest for the American people at heart. And I believe he is doing his best to fight for us and to give us a prosperous, secure nation. Okay, you guys, this is pretty funny. You have to check out some of the Democrats' responses. Like, we've already talked about Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and his evil, evil look on his face. You'll have to check out some of the Democrats' expressions. They did nothing but sulk the entire time. It's hilarious. Check it out.
and notice how half the audience is standing and the other half is just sitting there. Can you guess which is which? And check out these fine butt hurt Democrats. I mean, you can't leave old Bernie out. Well, I hope y'all enjoy that little compilation. I know that I did. I laughed all the way through it. Um, but it's really kind of scary, though. Those are the people that represent the left. Do y'all hear me? These are the people that represent you. Why you encourage them, I have no idea. Why you voted for them, I have no idea. You know, just because you don't get your way doesn't mean you don't stand for the national anthem. Doesn't mean you don't stand for the president. Doesn't mean you don't stand for veterans. My dad is a veteran. He was in the Air Force. You know, how dare you guys stay seated? How dare you just sit there? You don't get your way, so you're just going to sit there and pow? These are the examples that you have for our young people today? I don't know. But anyway, moving on to much brighter subject, the end of Trump's speech was absolutely inspiring. So I'm not really going to clip it. I'm just going to you guys hear it for yourselves. Americans fill the world with art and music. They push the bounds of science and discovery. And they forever remind us of what we should never, ever forget. The people dreamed this country. The people built this country. And it's the people who are making America great again. It's the people that are making America great again. I mean, could he have said it any better? Are you guys not inspired by this speech? Are you not excited? Has your faith in America not been renewed? This is the time to raise our voices, guys. This is the time to band together. This is the time to have rallies. This is the time to educate people. It's not about yelling at people or debating with people. It's about literally making them realize what a, that Trump is right. That Trump is actually going to make America great again, that Trump is actually going to follow through with his promises, that Trump's policies, they're common sense. Trump is doing the impossible, making common sense common again. Now is the time to wake people up and show them the facts, because the facts can't be twisted. The facts don't lie. The facts are right there. It's not about my personal opinion. It's about what's for the good of the country. Liberal, Republican, it doesn't matter. What matters is that we all realize to keep America alive, to keep the American spirit alive, to keep the American dream alive is that it doesn't matter what party you recognize with, what matters is that we're all working together to create a great nation, okay? And now's the time to educate people, and now's the time to get out there, do something. Definitely a call for action right now. However, let's explore the other side really quickly. Um, of course, the Democrats had their rebuttal with Joe Kennedy. I have no idea what this man's talking about. He is talking in a very strange way, and it sounds like a whole bunch of nonsense to me. I don't know about y'all, but here, take a listen. Coal miners or single moms? Rural communities or inner cities? The coast or the heartland? As if the mechanic in Pittsburgh, a teacher in Tulsa, and a daycare worker in Birmingham are bitter rivals rather than mutual casualties of a system forcefully rigged towards those at the top. As if the parent who lies awake terrified that their transgender son or daughter will be beaten and bullied at school is any more or less legitimate than a parent whose heart is shattered by a daughter in the grips of an opioid addiction. So here is the, dem is the answer that Democrats offer tonight. We choose both. Nonsense, complete and other nonsense. A system that's rigged at the very top. Trump just gave us all a tax break. Really, their answer isn't anything. To me, it just sounds like a whole bunch of division. It's, it, it was utter nonsense. Because you know what it is? Because the Democrats, they're shaking in their boots because Trump did fantastic, and because the memo is about to be released, and they're scared. Their true colors are showing. Literally everything they do shows that they hate America. Now, I'm not saying all Democrats hate America. I'm saying those in Washington clearly hate America. 
And they just uttered and spewed a whole bunch of nonsense and wasted everybody's time that listened to it. So now, let's look at a great tweet from Nancy Pelosi. I'm sure it'll be very nice. You're all having a good laugh at that? That's ridiculous. Painfully tried to deceive the American people into thinking he was not an unstable person, but no one's falling for it. You know who's unstable? You are, Nancy Pelosi, because you hate Trump for absolutely no reason, and you just want to spew out vile lies that has nothing to do with anything. She's an angry feminist. See what feminism does to people? It makes them ugly and angry all the darn time. Honestly. And then she wants to say that Joe Kennedy embodied the values of our country. How? He didn't say anything other than something about division. Stupid. And he, anyway, of course, you know who else had to say something was the ACLU because they're all but hurt that Trump said America 80 times in his speech. Why is that a bad thing? It doesn't make sense. Take a look. Take a look. This is off their Twitter page. So they're all mad because America is supposed to be about diversity, and now we can't call America America. I mean, we already said there's like a, you know, 358,000 genders, so, you know, of course, that would totally make sense. It's not logical. These people are trying to brainwash us, and then they're trying to say, oh, well, if you question us, then you're just a bunch of conspiracy theorists. The left has lost its mind. The left doesn't love America, but that's okay. That's okay, because we're here, and we're not going anywhere, and we aren't going to be quiet. It's a great time to be in America, folks, and I just had to share my thoughts with you. I just had to let you know how excited I am and how fired up I am, and I just can't wait to see what the future brings. And I know that with Trump in office, America's future is going to be bright. So thank you all for listening. Um, just a few quick things. Um, I do. My website is finally up. I promised you all back in December that exciting new things were happening, and my website, flakeybrunette.com, is up. So go there, pay me a visit, drop me a line. Um, Subscribe. Obviously, it doesn't cost anything. Um, just if you do subscribe whenever I make a blog post or we do a podcast, um, you'll get the notification if there's like a new video up or something like that. And speaking of that, we do we do podcasts every um, Monday and Sunday. Um, me and my fiance, and then we do different videos and I do blogs throughout the week. Um, if you guys do feel like dropping a little bit of a donation to me, it's greatly appreciated. If you want to throw 50 cents at me, a dollar. Um, all that does, that allows me to get better equipment and that allows me to do this more. And something that I'm really passionate about, there is a PayPal donation button just at the bottom. Um, like I said, that's not required at all. Um, it'd be greatly appreciated if you did. Um, but if you don't want to, I totally get that too. I'll still be here um, talking away because I'm not going to shut up. Um, but if you guys do have any topics you would like to see me talk about or any, you know, nice, you know, uh, constructive criticism, I'd love to hear it. Um, please drop me a line at flakybrunette at gmail.com. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Thanks for listening again, and let's make America great again.